Hi Sagittarians, thank you for viewing me today. My name is Elena, welcome to Searchlight Tarot, or welcome back. I am doing your general spread. I'm gonna get some cards right now for the strongest uh, energies around you, the psychic tarot cards. I'll be looking at your recent past, the person you've been dealing with, if you've been dealing with someone, and then what is coming in in the next few weeks. We have the Lion's Gate tomorrow, 8-8, eight, eight. and then we have that super moon in Aquarius, the last super moon of the year on August 11th. A lot of activity coming in. All right, this is good for all placements for the sign of Sagittarius. It will not resonate with everyone. I ask for the strongest energies, strongest messages for the sign I'm reading for. And today it's you, my beautiful Sagittarians. All right, spirit guides. I did hear a lyric to a song and I've been trying to piece it together because I woke up with it in my head this morning and I put out the intent last night I was doing your reading today. So let's see what cards come out. I have moving on from Heart Chakra. And the song I heard, just the lyric, not the song, because it kept playing over just the one lyric in my head, was Smoke on the Water. And I thought to myself, what are you trying to tell me? And then I thought to myself, oh, your water is your emotion, something that's hurt you or keeps hurting you. And the smoke on the water is your fire. And like, I think right now, what you're trying to get yourself through something to do with your feelings. It's just a little smoky right now because when you start a fire with the Sagittarians, there's gonna be some smoke afterwards. One shuffle, let's get three cards, thank you. For the sign of Sagittarius, Spirit Guides, current energies, this reading, is for show me what I need to see please three cards maybe four for the sign of Sagittarius is thank you strongest energies please what would you like to show me strongest energies around the sign of thank you Sagittarius you're done always can tell they give me enough cards anyway I have the sacred chakra under the deck. Well, this is about your chakras and balance and true, true to yourself because it's with something that you feel has been your destiny and I have heartache and loss. And then I have the third eye chakra with the mental conflict and trapped in fear about something. If that ain't smoke on the water, I don't know what is. I mean, to me, what I'm feeling is your third eye is where is where we see. I mean, uh, it's like there's something you see that's been creating a lot of mental conflict for you, but I kind of feel there's something here that you can't see the clarity of it because it's hurt your heart. You can't hurt. I got a few cards on my lap, a Sagittarian's heart. I have memories of love and I have it with material and spiritual prosperity. So right now I just kind of feel like you're trying to get the strength, the spiritual strength to get over something, to see through something that's hurt you because underneath all those, I have spiritual strength. All right, let me see what these other cards are. I have harmony, I have temptation, and I have foundation and achievements. There was something once recently, I feel in the past, that had pulled you in. It pulled you in. It was definitely some type of union that you felt a lot of harmony with. You know, but temptation is here or somebody keeps getting caught up in something in an unhealthy way and it's starting to hurt your heart, you know, because what your main concern is right now, we have foundation and achievements like you want, you want it all. That's the four of wands. That's, uh, you know, just the rainbow over the home and everything coming together for you. And it looks to me like you're trying to get there with a lot of spiritual strength right now. All right, let's look at your recent past. I have the Three of Swords. I see the heartache and loss. I have the beautiful Empress, and I have it with you sideways. Oh, you lost patience with something, didn't you, Sagittarians? Temperance, your card, sideways with the Empress. Hmm. Let me do one more shuffle. What do I feel here? I just feel you lost patience with someone or you, you, you've been patient. You, you tried to stay grounded and nurturing. I felt you did a lot of nurturing, trying to plant seeds with someone. 
But you started losing patience recently. Why there's smoke on the water. Recent past for the beautiful sign of my Sagittarians. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. What would you like to show me about the recent past for the sign of Sagittarius? I see the card in front of me and I was like, oh, it's the queen of fire in reverse. Oh man, who's on the left? I apologize about my squeaky chair. Uh, I'll just take it that way. So under the deck, I do have the hanging man. This is big Pisces energy, but I have it with the six of wands telling me that you started feeling as if having a victory with whatever you've been going through recently in the past. Maybe you weren't looking at it the right way. Because then I have the Seven of Cups. I had a feeling this card was going to show up. And then I have Aries, the, the Emperor. You started becoming disillusioned with something here. And I think it had to do with somebody who's a very powerful force. A very strong energy. Because the Emperor's big energy. And it's with, whoa, did I really, do I, what do I want to do here? Because right after that Seven, you guys, I got the Eight. Seven of Cups, Eight of Cups. I kind of feel you had to walk away from something because I think there was some smoke on the water, meaning you felt something here was emotionally starting to drain you because under all that is I have the star, Aquarius energy. Okay, I want more round. I got two cards. I got an Ace of Cups and then I got the Ten of Wands. The Ace of Cups recently in the past was something was definitely a new beginning here. It was beautiful. It was love, but boy. Seems like every time it was another wand on your back, another weight on your back. All right. Seven of Pentacles in reverse, and I have you in reverse, the Queen of Wands. You you lost patience. You you said, I'm not gonna put any more work into this situation because I don't think I'm gonna see any fruits from my labor. It's right there. That Queen of Wands in reverse, uh, that could be a very fiery, mean queen. But I think something pissed you off. I'm not sure what it is, but I have the Knight of Wands in front of me. What does that Knight want? Oh, I have the Four of Wands sideways. Four of Wands sideways is your foundation and achievements. And I think the Knight always came flying in. That Knight likes to fly in on this mission. Oh, okay, I'm going to do it. And then the Knight, boom, gone. And four of wands sideways is, I don't think they gave you something that was going to create your foundation and achievements. Are they, you were starting to question it because you saw the truth. This is coming into your current energies. I have the ace of swords, Sagittarians. Oof, it's a beautiful ace. You got two aces. But moving into your current energies, this is you are starting to see above the smoke on the water. Like, it, that's what I feel. I heard that, I heard that verse for a reason. Smoke on the water. Well, you started seeing the truth about it. And the last card they gave me is the magician sideways. I think you're getting tired of put, trying to manifest something here. I just think that there's something here you've been on the fence about whether you want to create anything more to happen with this situation. I think you're waiting to see what's going to happen because I see you've lost patience. Because you want material and spiritual prosperity. Because you had it like this recently in the past. You got a lot of spiritual strength around you right now. All right. I mean, I see this, you guys. So it's kind of like the same. It's recently in the past in your current energies. You want, you, want your, you want your whole pie. You don't want a piece of the pie. That's why there's smoke in the water. It got your fire ignited. All right, let's look at the crossing. If you're not dealing with anyone, <laughs> there is a timestamp on the description, in the description box to move into the incoming. I do have the Seven of Wands. I'm using the Celtic Cross Tarot cards today. Crossing energies. I never know who I'm going to choose. I just shuffle them all, put them down, kind of go with the flow. Crossing energies, please. Tell me about the person my Sagittarians have been dealing with. Ooh, sounds like they want to talk. All right, what would you like to show me? Crossing energies, please, for the sign of Sagittarians. Tell me about the crossing energies mm -hmm. for the sign. Thank you. Of Sagittarius. 
Thank you. What else would you like to show? Well, here's the Empress. What else would you like to show me about the crossing energies for the sign of Sagittarius? And there's the Four of Wands. All right, underneath their energies is I have the Ace of Wands. They want a passionate brand new opportunity. They want a new beginning. They might have been thinking of new things with a lot of inspiration and fire, but <laughs> like, uh oh, I have the page of pentacles. And in this deck, this page is literally in a dark forest, uh, just obsessed with one thing and one thing only. It could be about their money. It could be about something about them. I feel this is what I do. I feel, I just feel it. I feel, I, I can't help it. I have the Three of Wands, I have the Magician, and I have the Queen of Pentacles. I don't think I'm going to stop there. Okay, one more time then. Um, the Queen of Pentacles is big earth energy. Hmm. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But it, it, I feel like it's just someone at a distance that is holding on to something that they value very much. I don't know what it is. But that's what I'm feeling because I have the Six of Pentacles. And this is a card about equal give and take, Sagittarians. It's a card about hoping to receive so something will come back to them. I, it's just a, it's a beautiful energy. But with that, I have the world. And the world is someone who feels that everything in the situation with you needs to be equal give and take. I don't know. Maybe they were taking more than they were giving. Because underneath the deck, I have a big king of fire. And that king of wands is Leo energy, but that's the king determined to win at all costs. I mean, just fire. It's a very beautiful king. Very charismatic. I have the four of wands to my left. I have it with the page of cups. And then I have the sun in reverse. But they had a way about them that could be very unoptimistic. Okay, that's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to bet you guys. I know you want me to bash them because you're all full fired up. Leo in reverse, the sun. It's like somebody who's always in the dark or gray area. You know, that page cups with the four of wands. Well, that page is very beautiful energy, but it's a page. The four of wands here is I feel that someone just was eager to get gateways to open with you, but the page sometimes can kind of act before it thinks or gives just a little bit because I have the Empress in front of me you know I kind of feel that this is somebody who is feeling as if what they're doing they're going to be able to harvest in the near future it's very patient energy it's very grounded beautiful nurturing energy energy I'm sorry I said that I don't know why these words come out of me I think that just something pop talks for me. I I do apologize if my words get all cockeyed, but uh, I saw it in your recent past. And then I saw the emperor. Hmm. Okay, so you're over here to my left. And then I have the emperor. Oh, wait a minute. I'm on the wrong deck. Let's move over. I do apologize. See, I got to be real careful. I got to stay focused. Seven of Swords is in front of me. This is um, air energy. The Seven of Swords oh, is someone who is acting like they don't care, but they're leaving a hell of a trail behind them. That's what I feel. And the Seven of Swords is a card of deceit, strategy, lies. But I feel that they're acting like they don't care. They're doing something and they're looking behind their shoulder because they know they're not getting away with nothing. I just kind of feel they're trying to, though. But you're too fired up over here. And I think it might be with an Aries type. And then I had the Wheel of Fortune sideways. So the Wheel of Fortune is a card of change. Because underneath their other cards, I have transformation to death. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune is someone I feel who wants something here to change. They want something cha the change here to play out, I feel, in their favor. You know, um, I do have the Three of Pentacles in reverse over here to my left. I didn't see it. I just saw it. So this is a card of something that was once stable, once a union, it's broken. Like they feel something here is broken because they, they're, they're hoping for change. 
They're hoping for big change, but I don't know, because you're in this energy. Like, you're pissed about something. And you've been, you've been really patient and healing and having hope and faith. It's Aquarius. It could be with an Aquarius. All right. <clears throat> I start to feel too much, so let's just move on. Let's look at what's coming in for you. Do I think this person's going to come in for you when they feel something will change in divine timing? When they, they feel that you might get above your smoke on the water because you're pissed about something. All right. Let's look. Water break just for one moment. Apology. I drink so much water during these readings. It's crazy. Incoming energies for the sign of Sagittarius bird guys. Next few weeks. Try right after that super moon. Aquarius on the 11th. All right. Incoming energies, please, for Sagittarius. What would you like to show me? What do you want to tell me for the incoming energies for the sign? Thank you. Of Sagittarius. Anything else? No. Nope. Always can tell when they're done. Underneath the deck, I have Observer. I actually love that card. <clears throat> you guys aren't going to believe the next card, so let me put my glasses on just so I get them right. <laughs> Observer is... I feel like in the incoming energies, my spirit guides are trying to tell me to, because look at how lo it's looking at the new moon. Can you see that? Right after this full moon is I think you're going to have the clarity you need. That's what I feel from whatever has been a little smoke on the water. I have go to the sea. It's in your vehicle, Sagittarians, above your body of emotion. I do feel that something's coming in for you because then I have peace. And I feel like whatever you've been through recently is about to mend. I was just going to say that, and I have come to the edge with mending. Wow, that's absolutely beautiful. I felt something from that, and it could be mending with yourself about something. All right. I do have time, time to go. Where are they going? All that glitters. Go the distance. Oh, this is where they want you to go. And walk into the light, the, the in-between worlds. The flamingo is walking into the light, Sagittarians. You know, and I kind of feel with time to go, it's like either go for it or go in another direction. And that's what I feel because the smoke on the water is about to subside and you can see everything you need to help you mend, find peace, and maybe you got to take a little bit of a chance with something. Come to the edge. Just listen to what someone has to say. Just kind of feel that. Go the distance with all that glitter as well. It's like, you know, I mean, literally the cheetah is running away from all that glitters, right? Yeah, that's how I got him sitting here. All right, what else do you have for me? Oh, poised. As a Sagittarius card, um, this is something that I feel if you just let something play out how it's supposed to play out, I feel that it's going to come to fruition for you and you'll be walking back into the light for peace above your body of emotion back in that strong vessel. Wow, Sagittarians, that's beautiful. But you know I'm going to get some cards. These can go. I need to see them for fine print and everything else looks really big. Oh, let's do the Everyday Witch today. Oh, who fell? Oh, your Wheel of Fortune sideways. I got the Six of Cups on the bottom. Hmm, beautiful card. Let me shuffle. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> <clears throat> Spirit guides, incoming energies for the sign of Sagittarians. Why are these oracles here, please? Smoke on the water. You're going to be above it. Incoming energies for the sign. Thank you. Of Sagittarius. Thank you. Incoming energies. Thank you, Spirit, for the sign of Sagittarius. Anything else you want to tell Sagittarians? Incoming energies. Oh, at the Aries card, the Emperor that flew over there. Oh, Sagittarians, I see some. I love to look, you guys. I know. I have a hanging man under the deck. This is Pisces energy, but this is something that once <clears throat> I feel kind of left you in a stuck position 
because I have the Knight of Pentacles coming in. That's the Knight of Earth. That's one of the only Knights I trust. It takes that Knight a long time to come in, but when it comes in, it's solid. From, I have it with the Empress. The Empress is a card of you're about to harvest something here. It's just, I just kind of feel like there's something here that needs to mend. I have the Eight of Cups. It's from something that you've walked away from or you felt you both walked away from because I have the Wheel of Fortune, which is one of your major arcanas. That wheel, boy, when it spins, you never know where it's going to land. But I think this is something you're about to harvest that you knew something was going to change. You put a lot of work into something. You've been patient and you started losing patience. Let's start. I do have Aries over to my left and I have it with the Ten of Cups sideways. And then I have another king, the King of Wands. Oh, Sagittarians. This is where you decide in the incoming energies if you can work something out with someone. And it's about your ultimate happiness. So either way you choose, that wheel is going to play out in your favor. That is a card of destiny. That is a card of the universe actually working out for something for you in the long run to create a lot of abundance and happiness. I have the devil sideways and I have that ace of wands you want. That passionate new beginning, that passionate new, new start. And I think it's becoming unchained from something that you felt was always pulling you in in a bad way. It could have been a person. You're about to get a new opportunity here. I, oh yeah, it's coming. I have the Knight of Swords. You know, the Knight of Swords, I always tell people, you know, the Knight of Swords is air energy and it could be just hauling the ass somewhere with a whole bunch of thoughts or a whole lot of communication of going back and forth with someone. That, that's just what I feel. Oh, and I have it with Destiny, the Lovers. This is Gemini. But I think this is where, this is something that is coming together for you, you know, back together. And it could be with yourself. Because the twins do represent one good side, one bad side, and together. And it could be with somebody else. So this is where you're going to feel connected again to yourself, a feeling whole. Whether it's with someone or someone not. But it's beautiful energy. And it's with the devil sideways. You know, I think something here is about to play out in your favor. And this is where you're going to decide about your passionate brand new opportunity. About what's going to make you happiest down the long run. Because you know something will play out in your favor. And it's coming. I'm telling you, you're going to get some, some something here. Communication. Fast forward thinking. Like all of a sudden it's like boom. Probably right after that super moon in Aquarius. All right. Let's get some messages from my spirit guides. Remember, tomorrow, 8-8 eight, eight, or Monday, whenever you're watching this, is the Lion's Gate. Manifestations are there for you to create. But I always tell people to be do it with, you know, make sure when you put out manifestations, you do it with true gratefulness for everything you do have. And just ask for what you'd like to create within reason. <laughs> All right, I have to do one shuffle. Okay, Spirit Guides, two cards for the beautiful sign of my Sagittarians. If you can tell Sagittarians anything today. It's so funny when I was shuffling, the Ten of Cups was like, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> All right, two messages, please. Thank you, Spirit, for the sign of Sagittarius. If you can tell Sagittarians anything today, Spirit, what would you like to tell the sign of Sagittarius? I think I want one more card. Anything else? One more message? Maybe not. Hmm. One more message for the sign of Sagittarius. Nope, I guess that's all. Asking you shall receive. All right. I have the Ten of Ariel. All right. This is about something that's going to be your ultimate stability. There is so very much to be grateful for. I think that's about your manifestation tomorrow. I said to make sure you put out with a grateful heart. Wow. Financial success and the promise of retirement. I think it's just telling me about 
the promise of everything coming to like full circle, retirement, finally being able to be like, oh, I'm okay now. You know, a rich and rewarding family life. There it is. The next card they gave me is the Four of Michael. Insights that come from quiet meditation, the need for more sleep or time off, seek relief from stress. I think once you guys come into some type of energy of, oh, this, like above your body of emotion, because lately you've been in smoke in the water, it's like now you're getting the hell out of that smoke in the water. Yeah, and you're walking right in to peace. You know, with the lovers here, I feel like it's something about you that's coming back together. Could be with somebody else. Could be with you feeling whole again. That's what I have for you today, my beautiful Sagittarians. If you guys enjoyed it and it resonated, please remember to like, leave a comment if you like, subscribe if you're not. Thank you. Thank you to all my beautiful Sagittarians for your love and support. I love you and wishing everyone many beautiful blessings. Thank you.